The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining our webinar, Leverage CX and One-to-One -one Personalization to Drive Marketing ROI. I'm your host, Amit Thaplia. I'm the Director of Marketing at Altudo. We at Altudo are a one-to-one -one experiences company. We bring together deep market expertise, CX and demand gen strategy, engagement analytics, and cross-channel orchestration to drive award-winning experiences. A recent Gartner CMO survey reveals CX optimizing market spends, innovation, and personalization are top agendas for marketing leaders. And I hope most of us will agree, brands today are competing on CX and their revenue ROI strategies feature their MarTech stack and personalized customer experiences. With me as presenter for today's webinar is my colleague, Jenna Baumgartner, who will help us with key strategies and growth frameworks to how to make this possible. Over to you, Jenna. Hey, everyone, uh, and welcome to our webinar on CX and one-to-one -one personalization focused on driving revenue using Sitecore, your uh, marketing automation tools, and CRM. And really, the goal is to prove marketing ROI through your MarTech stack. A little bit about me. Uh, I am Jaina Baumgartner, the Director of Marketing Strategy and Architecture at Altudo. I have over seven years of experience with Sitecore and my entire career of experience with websites and CMS platforms, uh, including a few of these that I've thrown in here. I was a Sitecore Symposium speaker this past symposium, uh, speaking more on, uh, on driving conversions through Sitecore 9 forms. I spent the last six years of my career being a Psycho client, so I know the challenges of putting in place a MarTech stack and driving revenue through it, um, and really keeping it in place for growth into the future. And I'm currently a Psycho vendor working with clients to ensure that they don't face the same hurdles that I had in the past. Um, here's my LinkedIn profile and blogs and webinars. Uh, that I and others and other colleagues of mine write at eDynamics, Altudo. Um, so at Altudo, we are a global digital marketing and technology company focused on creating, like, like I've said, personalized one-to-one -one experiences and driving uh, customer experience. We're a Sitecore Platinum partner. We have over 150 Sitecore resources. Uh, and six MVPs. We've delivered many projects and have over 40 ongoing clients right now. Our focus is really on MarTech integration and uh, business uplift with, that Mar with your MarTech stack. Here are a lot of different, uh, here are different platforms and technologies that we work with, marketing experience and technology, bringing those three together to create great customer experience outcomes. These are several of our big clients across certain verticals, law firms, finance, manufacturing, high-tech, CPG, and travel. We've been, we've been recognized by many experts. Our sites are award-winning, um, and here are some of the awards that we've won in the past. So getting into the real topic, why customer experience? Customer experience drives revenue. Customer experience leaders outgrow their laggards by double digits in terms of revenue. So the more focus you give to customer experience, the more it benefits you in terms of revenue. 89% of businesses expect to compete on customer experience. That's more important than other aspects of their business. And to be truly competitive, your company has to be customer obsessed. You have to have deep knowledge of your customers and know how to engage with them at every stage of their journey. 
Here's some stats from some well-known um, well companies. 15, according to Gartner, 15% of increase, you can expect 15% of an increase in your digital business profits by using smart personalization techniques. According to Marketo, 78% of your, of your consumers will only engage if their experience has been personalized to previous experiences. And according to, some, according to Infosys, 74% of consumers feel frustrated when their website content is not personalized. If you're in the B2B space and thinking that this doesn't apply to you, according to Salesforce, 70% of B2B buyers say it's absolutely critical for companies to have a personalized experience. And 74% conduct more than half of their research online before making an offline purchase. So even if your CRM is the main tool where purchases are recorded, they're making that decision. Your B2B buyers are making that decision before they get into CRM. According to Gartner, B2B buyers will only purchase again from suppliers that offer omni-channel capabilities. So it's not just about personalization within your CMS, but across all your platforms. So why does, why does CX fail? Here are the top three reasons for this. The first one is that there might be no executive buy-in. Um, customers expect to be engaged in real time, and we now have to convince our executives that this is the baseline. The second one is that we don't have a cross-channel strategy. So even if you are personalizing your website or nurturing your, your customers through your marketing automation tool, these tools are not talking to each other and personalizing every aspect of the journey. And the third is that there's no personalization at all. Um, B2B buyers, believe it or not, are consumers on, at some point in their life. They are using, they're using personalized platforms that have personalized experiences uh, with popular retailers like Amazon and Netflix, they expect that same experience when they're at work. They're not immune from customer experience. So what are the outcomes when your customer experience fails? Here are the big three. The first one is a fractured customer experience leads to lost sales and no single view of the customer. So you cannot tell where your customer is in the buying cycle when you're making that sales call. Secondly, your data lives in silos. So you can't measure and you can't report in terms of how your campaigns are doing, how your CMS is doing, how your emails are performing. And your third one is poor quality sales leads. Sales want leads, marketing needs to deliver those leads. And if you don't have a customer experience across all these platforms, you're not capturing, um, you're not capturing leads that sales want. You don't know what the quality of these leads are. Some businesses have done very well with, with um, personalizing, with omnichannel personalization. American Express, for example, was able to add $1.9 billion to their pipeline and save $1.3 million. They basically have marketing oper operationalized internationally. And some business simply don't get it. We are seeing this every day as, as brands are dying out and declaring bankruptcy when they're not able to compete in a digital space. After years of business, one of the biggest questions I get when I propose this concept to clients is, well, I have a lot of data, but I don't know what to do with it. I would have to hire a data analyst to really sift through that data and figure out what's going on before I can implement something like, something like this. The truth is, big data means you can't see the wood for the trees. So our goal at Altudo, as we implement an omni-channel personalization experience, is to keep it really simple and look for 
those main pieces of data that matter in each of those systems and not really clog it up with every piece of data that you can find. And here's how we do it. A lot of companies today are using their marketing technology stacks in the traditional mode. That is, they do CMS updates, they can look at their traffic analytics and basic conversions, their campaigns are spray and pray, um, they're not based on the personas or the stage of, of the buying cycle that their users are in. They do ad hoc social messaging and they create landing pages rather than personalizing every piece of the experience. One of the first steps to getting into personalization is time to value. This is one of our services at Altudo. Um, with time to value, we focus on engagement analytics easy personalization, real-time profiling, and A-B testing. So getting you fast value uh, by, by using the out-of-the-box capabilities from these tools and making sure that you're personalizing the journey within that tool. The ultimate goal, however, and what gets us to that one-to-one -one marketing and focused on deep personalization for every individual that comes to your website is revenue is what we call revenue engine it's basically creating a customized journey through your um, psycho experience platform your your crm and your marketing automation tool how do we do this map is going to be your pitcher cms catches the the contacts and converts them into leads and CRM is your single view of the customer keeping score of everyone coming through. So here's the digital transformation journey. Um, starting off from the anonymous user, the first phase is getting them to, the, to a known user. This is where CMS is the strongest. Uh, the objective is to convert that new unknown prospect to a lead that can be nurtured through the other tools. Um, there are a lot of strategies and tactics. Uh, advertising is absolutely one of them, and social and um, SEO, personalization and web personalizing your website and the, the journey of your users through the website, ensuring you have forms and are doing the most with your forms to increase conversions, um, and blogging on your website to create thought leadership. The data that you can expect from this first phase are anonymous click-throughs, psycho profiles, cookies, and personalization within your CMS. The next phase is getting your user from a known user to an engaged user. In this phase, we, the goal will be to use both CMS and marketing automation. In this phase, our goal is to get to qualify those leads into marketing qualified leads that we can act, that we can send to our sales team and accelerate their personalized their decision making with relevant and get engagement at the right time of the journey. The way we do this will be through channel marketing, lead scoring, triggered outbound campaigns, and event management. The data that we'll be using is ensuring that our marketing automation and CMS capture um, engagement in the same manner and score that engagement, uh, and then using insights to drive account level data. The next phase will be getting that engaged user to a customer um, and helping them convert. At this point, it's time to send the data to CRM. So our CRM will be a play in this as well. And then from customer to brand advocate. So at, we need a single view of the customer across all the tools, but especially in the CRM. Having upsell and cross-sell campaigns, advocacy, loyalty, and retention will be our focus here. And the data we'll be using is not just the their purchase history um, acro across all the all the domain all the technology stacks, and really focusing on their profile, their customer satisfaction score, score and survey data. 
So we'll walk through a customer journey, an example customer journey, and how, how we could use all three tools to personalize that journey. So let's imagine a user comes to a landing page and they read an article on the landing page. At this time, we know nothing about the user. The CRM has no information about this user. But as soon as they read an article, as soon as they start engaging with you on the website, we can profile them based on what they're doing. So we might profile them here as a home insurance buyer. And we can give them a lead score of one for reading that article. They are slightly engaged. Now we can personalize the website to show them more related articles and white papers to what they've read and encourage them to download a white paper. Once they've downloaded the white paper, we know a lot more about them. We may know now that they're interested in not just home insurance, but home and car, but a home and car bundle. We know a little bit more about the user and they've become a little bit a, a known contact and we can trigger um, a lead score of five. At this point, since they're a known contact, we can start nurturing them through our, mar our marketing automation tool. So we can not only personalize the website to show them related articles and white papers, but also use our marketing automation tool to encourage them to download more white papers and read more articles, and more specifically, sign up for the newsletter to learn more. The website can, ha can also house the newsletter CTA that can encourage them to sign up for the newsletter. Once they've signed up for the newsletter, we know even more about the user and we can give them a lead score of 10 at this point as an engaged user. Now our marketing automation tool can nurture them to click on the quote tool and get a quote in terms of the practices, uh, in terms of the purchase that they could make. The, CRM, the CMS will have the quote tool that they can engage with at this point, we'll know uh, where they stand in terms of a high value or premium customer. So we know, may know in this case that this user is a high value customer. And, at, and once they've engaged with this tool, we know that they are a marketing qualified lead and can send them to a salesperson to actually make a contact. And in this way, we, we have well qualified leads in our CRM ensuring that they go through the entire journey across these tools. So here are all of your most important channels working in symphony with each other so that we're, we're leading the user through every stage of the journey and personalizing that experience. We've done this several times with, um, with American Express, for example, leading to um, a large uh, increase in their revenue as well as a, a large cost savings. With WP Carry um, integrating across their tools uh, and giving them a three times more likely sell, three times more likely ability to sell a fund. And with Hexagon um, for, for omni channel market across these platforms. All right, now I'm going to show you a demo of what we call the revenue engine, uh, which is the personalization across all of these platforms to drive revenue. Our goal is to do this in less than 90 days. So imagine this user, uh, Gina Baumgartner, my alter ego, Getting into LinkedIn, um, she's the CEO of Pixelaration, and we have an ad targeted towards her from Habitat Financial Business Services focused on B2B buyers. The ad is about signing up for the, news, for the newsletter. Uh, so we know she's in the research phase of, um, of her journey. When she clicks on the ad, she goes to the home page of the website, but the home page is already personalized to get her to engage with signing up for the newsletter. Everything is about the Habitat Business Insider newsletter, from the banner on the top 
to the promo on the side. Immediately, we've captured that she's logged that she's been referred from LinkedIn and given credit to that to the LinkedIn social finance campaign. We don't know a whole lot about her. She's still an anonymous user, hasn't engaged with us or triggered any goals yet. Once she puts in her information and actually signs up for the newsletter, we'll have more information about her. So at this point, we have her email address. And she's turned from an anonymous, unengaged user to a known user. And she's triggered the newsletter sign-up goal. Now, going into our map tool, in this case, Salesforce Marketing Cloud, we'll be able to see her record here. So Sitecore has sent her record to Salesforce. But not just her record, it's also sent the goals she's triggered and the campaign that she's coming through. Salesforce Marketing Cloud can now send Jaina an email um, and start nurturing her immediately. So in this case, it's thanking her for registering for the newsletter, and it, and it encourages her to download the white paper. The site is personalized again. So this time, we've removed all of everything about signing up for the newsletter since she already has signed up for the newsletter. And instead, we've personalized it to downloading for the white paper and going international in general. Here's the journey in Salesforce Marketing Cloud that she has that she has entered once she triggers the the um, download white paper. Uh, we've put her through this data extension. And in the contact filter, we can use that information that we know about her um, to trigger the next phase of the journey. So things like the two most critical pieces of information are what goal she's triggered and what profile she fits. And that's what we're focused on to get her into the right journey. We can, we can create scheduled journeys um, that can schedule the, newsletter, the newsletters to be sent out at certain intervals. Going back to Sitecore, um, once she clicks, she no longer has to fill out the form since we already have her information. And she can, she can go to a pre-filled form and select accessing the white paper. Once she clicks on download the white paper, we have more information about her. So at this point, she has an engagement value score of 15 in Sitecore. And we've profiled her as Stephen, the CFO. We've also captured her new goal, downloading the white paper seven considerations, and that's what's given her the 15 points. So back in Marketing Cloud, her record has now changed. We have her, we have a Sitecore profile, and we we have her engagement value from um, from Sitecore, and we also have her last goal triggered, which is now download white paper as compared to previously subscribe newsletter. And using that data, we will put her in the right stage of the journey. In Sitecore at this point, um, this is her experience profile in Sitecore. It has her pattern match to Stephen, the CFO. It also has her name and email address and her visit information. Yes, yeah, so we've pattern matched her to Stephen, the CFO, and we've captured her, her campaign in Sitecore. Here's information about her specific visit. So the goals she's triggered in that visit, her channel, her campaign, and her assets. This can be used to, to personalize Sitecore further, but not just Sitecore. 
your CRM and your sales call as well as your um, marketing automation journey. So going into Salesforce CRM now, here is Gina Baumgartner as the lead. And if we look at her detailed information, you'll see that it, that it not only captures her basic contact information, but it also lets your salesperson know that she's interested in going international. She has, she's engaged with us a little bit. Um, she's profiled as Stephen, the CFO, and she's done the following activities in the system already. This will give your salesperson um, good information when they make that first sales call and talk to, talk to the person. They can already talk to Gina about going international and focus on her as the CFO profile. As well as it shows, it shows how engaged the user is with the tools. And in this way, we can keep all these three systems in sync with the most critical information that's needed across CMS, marketing automation, and CRM. All right, over to you, Amit. So, Jenna, we have had uh, f a few questions coming in. I've uh, taken the liberty of... Um categorizing them into, you know, uh, two basic categories. Uh, uh, they talk about um, either integrations or uh, identifying uh, each individual person, uh, you know, individually uh, through campaign. So let me just read them out. I've just taken the liberty of categorizing them. So uh, uh, the question is, you talked about CMS um, and uh, marketing automation platforms integrating with each, with each other, but how can you... Uh, how can your social media and blog integrate? You may increase such channels over time. So I guess uh, uh, broadly what people are asking is, um, you know, channels for each um, marketing team will increase. I'm talking about marketing channels from blogs to social to mobile to, um, you know, their website itself. Um, how, can, how do they all come together? And their question is in particular about content, um, which is social and blog. So how do how do these integrate? So I'm I'm guessing uh, we're talking about more integrations. So could you could please elaborate on that? Yeah, absolutely. So in the demo itself, you saw several things coming together. Uh, we started off with LinkedIn, uh, which is a social platform and engagement through that platform, mm -hmm. uh, and going into uh, blog and. Um, uh, although mobile wasn't part of the demo. The goal is, so from a content perspective, um, there are many tools that, that help with that, including things like um, digital asset management. Um, and tools like Sitecore have the capability to push content to different systems, uh, but from an engagement perspective and really capturing where the user is in each stage of the journey and not just capturing but personalizing that experience, it's a matter of adding, um, really understanding what data you need to focus on in each of the systems and bringing it together. Salesforce, for example, has a social, has a social, has social studio, which is a social connector to basically show you um, how engaged your users are in social as well, and pull that data across the platform. So the goal would be then to show, to capture the data from Sitecore, your CRM, and marketing automation to also put in the social platform. Basically, what I've shown you so far has been ha, can easily be extended to other platforms um, across your Martech stack. Awesome. Um, the next category of questions is uh, uh, related to, again, personalization, and you've talked about it. <laughs> so uh, they you want to know how do you individually identify and run campaigns, personalize according to each individual. So essentially, it's all about creating a single view of the customer. So uh, I guess uh, they want to know more about how customer profiles are getting uh, created within the system. 
Uh, so, okay, so the demo was an example of how a customer profile can be created in these systems. Um, in our case at Altudo, we have connectors that, that connect uh, from Sitecore to marketing automation. Uh, so we have an Eloqua connector, a Marketo connector, a Salesforce Marketing Cloud connector, and a Pardot connector that connect across these systems. Um, oh, future as well, and uh, interaction as a CRM. Sitecore, uh, some of these tools have their own inbuilt connectors. For example, Marketing Cloud can send data to, to Salesforce CRM. Uh, so can Pardot, so can Aliqua. Uh, so the goal is to leverage these connectors to really push data across these platforms. But again, I want to I wanna reiterate and make sure that this is definitely important to be kept in mind that uh, the most important thing is making sure that you can see the trees, right? So don't be uh, focused on all the data being in every platform. That could take ages. By the time you clean up your data, your data is going to get cluttered again. The goal is to really focus on the data that matters at that point in the journey. So like I showed you guys in the demo, we only focused on four critical points of data because that's what was needed for the user journey. The score, the profile, the contact data, and the last triggered goal. And that basically shows you what they've done last, what to engage with them next, how engaged they are, who they are. And that's what we care about as we're personalizing the journey in each of those tools. Great. Um, I, I guess, uh, uh, you know, the, most of the questions were around these uh, categories, uh, Jenna, and uh, I would like to thank the audience. There are a few questions uh, uh, which are more individual to their companies. So I would not, uh, I would want to take these questions post the webinar. So um, um, for the audience, uh, we'll come back to you. We'll write back to you individually on these because uh, I, we don't want to name companies here, your your businesses and your business data. So we'd come back individually to each one of you. And if you have any further questions, please write to us at marketing at altodo.co. And we'd love to uh, chat with you. So thank you so much, Jana. Um, and thank you, our lovely audience, for being a part of this today. Thanks, Amit. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a good day.